So I just wanted to show you guys how to set up and install your restaurant POS system. So this is the POS system that I have. Um, now this is actually just an iPad right here and there is a credit card reader directly on the iPad. Now this iPad, I think I paid $200 on Amazon. Um, it's the 10.2 or 10.9 inch, whatever. I'll leave it on the screen uh, so you guys can see. And then it came with this credit card reader. Now this credit card reader actually just connects directly into the iPad itself. So I can go ahead, I can swipe, I can dip if there's an EMV chip, or I can actually tap to pay if my customer has a smartphone. And I'll show you guys a, a little demo here in a second. This is actually a kitchen printer that is connected by Bluetooth to the iPad. And then this kitchen printer also connects by that white wire right there. Um, it connects to the cash drawer. Now it also has a customer facing display. Now that customer facing display actually shows my customer exactly what it is they ordered as well as the price. And I'll walk over on that side in a second and I'll show you guys that as well. And then there's also, instead of a kitchen printer, uh, I opted in for the kitchen display. So that way my chefs, they know exactly when an order comes in. And so for example, if an order comes in, um, say this order right here for the garlic Parmesan fries and this uh, two chili chicken, uh, as my chefs are preparing the order, they can actually go ahead and cross it off right there. And then when the order actually goes out to the customer, all they do is they double tap it and it disappears and it's ready for that next order. Now, I think overall this entire setup, this was about 50 bucks from Best Buy. This was 50 bucks. This was actually a little more expensive than I thought. This is about $300, but it's a super reliable printer. Uh, the iPad itself, 200 bucks. This was another 200 bucks. And then this iPad right here, um, this is the more expensive iPad, but I'm just using it just because that's what I had. But you can actually use this one right here. Um, so that's another $200 as well. Now, basically what happens is when a customer comes into the store and the customer wants to place an order with us, um, we're actually gonna live right in here in this section. So it depends on what kind of business you have. Now, for the business that we have set up, we have indoor tables, we have a bar area, we have takeout, we have quick order, and we also have delivery. So it depends you know, what employee is taking which order. Depends on what tab you're actually gonna hit in here. So say for example, we have a quick order. So somebody walks into our store, and they would actually wanna place an order to go. So we're gonna hit on quick order, then we're gonna hit the plus button, and then this is our menu. Now this menu is customizable. You can either set it up yourself or the company that I got this from, they will actually build out your entire menu with pictures and everything, and that costs about 300 bucks. So say our customer comes in, they want these veggie spring rolls, they also want a burger. Say they want a barbecue burger, and you can actually customize all of these different sides. So you can have fries, truffle fries, side salad, sweet potato fries. You can make any sort of little combination that you want. Um, so say our customer does not want fries, but our customer instead wants a side salad. Now we have to go ahead and select our meat temperature and you can do medium well, rare, medium rare, medium, or well done. And right now it's charged at $0, but if you wanted to actually charge extra, depending on you know how well it's cooked, you can do that as well. We're not gonna mess with that here. Um, for allergies, you can include all the allergies that you want. And this is super important because you don't want a customer coming in and getting the wrong order. For example, if they have a peanut allergy and then they're gonna get sent to the hospital and you don't wanna deal with any of those lawsuits. Um, so this is included here just as a safety purpose. Our customer has a peanut allergy and then toppings for our burger. So say tomatoes, avocado, cheese, and depending on the type of cheese, you can also add that as well. So Swiss, pepper jack, cheddar, um, and say they want mayo and lettuce. Go ahead and click on done. So that is our customer's order right here. Now what's gonna happen is our customer actually has to go ahead and review that order. So we're gonna walk over here and this is our customer's order right here. All right, so our customer got the veggie spring rolls, the barbecue burger, and then they also have all these different toppings. So tomatoes, mayo, they want medium rare, et cetera, et cetera. And then here on the bottom, this is cool because 
there's actually a cash price and there's a card price. Now, the cash price is actually a little lower because we can actually offer our customer the option to avoid the credit card fee if they pay with cash. Now, if our customer wants to pay with a credit card, our customer will actually pay the fee for us so that we don't have to pay the credit card fee. So other POS companies like a Square or Clover, they're actually going to charge about a 3% fee per credit card, and you have to pay that out of pocket. Now, with this setup right here, we can make our customer pay for the credit card fee so that way we're not actually paying them. And in the case of, say, you do $30,000 in sales per month, so you sell $30,000 worth of burgers, you're going to save about $900 per month if you do it this way right here. So what's going to happen is our customer is going to give us their credit card. And let me grab the card right here. We're going to go ahead and hit card. Then it's going to say processing. We're actually going to take that card and we're going to dip it because there's an EMV chip. And that's like the new regulation now. So we have to dip that. It's going to say processing. All right, then here on this side, it's actually going to prompt our customer to go ahead and tip. Now, our customer, these are pre-selected, and you can change them as well. We have 10%, 15%, 20%. You can custom tip or no tip. Now, this is cool because this is going to give our employees the option to make more money by collecting tips this way instead of people you know, having to print out the receipt and then manually writing tips. All they have to do is hit a button, go ahead and sign, and then click on done signing. Okay, and then <clears throat> now our receipt is going to print out here. And then another cool thing is because we don't have the kitchen printer, what's going to happen is we have a kitchen display as well. Um, so once the order is paid for, um, it's actually going to get sent to our kitchen so that our kitchen staff knows exactly when to prepare an order and what to prepare. Um, so as you can see, this order right here was a quick order. It's already been paid for. And then he has the veggie spring rolls. He has the barbecue burger with a side salad, medium rare, peanut allergy, tomatoes, and avocado. So this way our staff knows exactly how to prepare an order. Uh, as each item gets ready, all we have to do is cross out each one. And once the entire order is complete and ready to be served to our customer, all the kitchen staff has to do is double tap, and then the order is gonna disappear. And then all the other orders are gonna be you know, next in line. So if we look down at our receipt here, um, this is obviously our customer's order. And then if you can look all the way down, it says non-cash adjustment of 81 cents. And basically what this is, is the credit card fee that our customer paid. So that way you as the business owner are not paying that credit card fee out of pocket. Um, and th that's how you're going to save a lot of money every month by passing that credit card processing fee to your customer. So what happens if we process a cash order? instead so say for example we barbecue burger meat temperature medium rare allergies same thing peanut allergy toppings avocado cheese lettuce mayo same exact thing as our last order and then instead uh also i forgot they got veggie spring rolls so instead we're going to click on cash and then we'll just do the customer copy then our cash drawer is going to open automatically so that way we can give our customer the change. And then this is going to be our receipt right here. And just a, as a side by side comparison here, same exact order, but you as a business owner are keeping $20 and 27 cents. And then the 81 cents is actually going to the processing company. So in both examples, you're keeping $20.27, no matter if it's the cash or the card. And if you actually got a second POS, so an extra iPad and a credit card reader, this can actually act as a self-ordering kiosk so your customers can walk into your store and place the order themselves. Um, and all they have to do is just come up to this machine. Your logo is going to be right here. They can either enter their phone number or they can join. Um, in this case, we're just going to go as a guest and your entire menu is gonna pop up right here. So your customer can place the order themselves and they're not gonna waste your employee's time sitting around you know, deciding on what they wanna eat. Um, so say our customer wants a salad, they want a taco salad. 
So they're gonna add that. And then they want a Caesar dressing. They also want chicken. And they also have a peanut allergy. And then they're just gonna add that to their cart. They're gonna go ahead and check out. They're gonna confirm that. And then they're gonna give us their name. So say their name is Chad. And then they're gonna go ahead and pay. So they can either go ahead and pay by their card and all they have to do is they're gonna swipe, dip, tap to pay themselves, or they can pay by cash. And if they pay, <clears throat> excuse me, if they pay by cash, all our customer has to do is take their receipt, bring it to the cashier, and then pay for their order. And then again, our order is gonna pop up right here on the kitchen display so our staff knows what to make. If you guys want this entire setup for your business, go ahead and click on the link down in the description below. I'm going to have a link there where you can fill out a form and then someone from our sales team is actually going to hop on the phone with you. You can ask them all the questions that you want and it's going to be free of charge and you can see if this is a good fit for your business or not. And then you can go ahead and continue and make the purchase to buy this. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.